This is the annular solar eclipse that was visible in May 2012 in the western United States. Beautiful, isn't it? What's more important is that you will be able to witness a similar eclipse in just a few days. I'm talking about the upcoming annular solar eclipse that will take place on October 14, 2023. It's an event that you certainly won't want to miss. Therefore, carry on watching this video in order to find out where to see this celestial event, how to see it, and when to see it. I promise, will be very interesting. Hi there, Mikhailo is here. First, let's start with the basics. Solar eclipses are incredible celestial events that happen when the moon passes between the Earth and the Sun, thus blocking the Sun's light and casting a shadow on the Earth's surface. However, this year's solar eclipse will be a special one. It will be an annular solar eclipse. It's different from partial and total eclipses because it occurs when the moon is at a relatively distant point in its orbit around the Earth causing it to appear smaller in the sky. Therefore, when it passes between the Earth and the Sun, it doesn't fully cover the Sun's disk, leaving a ring of the solar surface visible. This creates this spectacular ring of fire effect visible at the edges of the Sun, which makes annular solar eclipses look even more unique and beautiful. Annular solar eclipses are also rare compared to other types of eclipses. In fact, after this one, an annular solar eclipse won't be visible in the United States until 2039, when it happens in Alaska. Therefore, let's talk about when and where you can witness this extraordinary event. The eclipse is set to take place on October 14th, and it will be visible only in the Americas and a tiny part of Western Africa. Even though the eclipse will be visible almost everywhere throughout the continents, only people in this narrow belt will experience the maximum obscuration of the sun. Some of the cities that will see the full phase are Eugene, Albuquerque, and San Antonio. Everywhere else outside of this belt, the moon will cover the sun only partially. Like, for example, in New York City, only 23% of the sun will be covered. In order to find out if the eclipse is visible in your area, at what time the eclipse starts and what percentage of the sun will be covered by the moon, I really recommend you to head to a website called timeanddate.com. Link in the description. It's an extremely easy website to navigate and let me show you how to use it because it's really simple. After following the link in the description, you will end up on this page where you should tap on this map of the eclipse. On the left side, you will then see a search button where you'll need to type the name of the city that you'll be observing from. After you type it in, you'll see the obscuration phase, how long the eclipse will last, and when it begins. It's this simple. Now, what if the eclipse isn't visible in your area? Well, don't worry. You can still enjoy this breathtaking event by joining NASA's live stream on October 14th. NASA always provides incredible coverage, so I left the link to it in the description. Before we continue, it's extremely important to stress that if you end up looking at the eclipse in real life, it's very important for you to acquire the necessary protection. Observing solar eclipses without proper equipment is extremely dangerous. So what equipment is exactly safe? If you're observing the eclipse with the naked eye, Eclipse glasses are your only option. You can get them on Amazon for just $15. If you typically wear eyeglasses, you can wear eclipse glasses over them during the eclipse. Do not remove eclipse glasses while looking at the sun. Turn away and only then take them off. If you're gonna watch the eclipse through a telescope, you must put a solar filter on your telescope because you want to protect your eyes and your equipment. Note that solar filters must be attached to the front of any telescope or binoculars. Also, never use regular sunglasses, homemade filters, or anything else that is not certified eclipse glasses or solar filters. This $15 can prevent your eyes from turning into scrambled eggs in the end. 
in conclusion, it's perfectly fine if you happen to miss this annular solar eclipse. Next year, in April 2024, there's going to be another solar eclipse, this time a total one, which is a different kind of amazing experience. There are also going to be seven total solar eclipses visible worldwide over the next 10 years, which I covered in my other video, so you can always check it out. In the meantime, if you want to stay updated on all the future celestial events, please consider subscribing. And as always, thank you for watching very interesting videos. Bye.